Ed eccoci ritornati alla sala principale dei Digital Innovation Days dopo questa brevissima pausa caffè, la eh, edizione digital dei Digital Innovation Days, è bello dirlo, ma in realtà non è proprio solamente digital perché Nicola e Giulio Nicoletti eh, questa mattina hanno fatto diciamo un'introduzione fisica perché erano in uno spazio vero e proprio anche se poi non li abbiamo visti online quindi un po' stiamo, stiamo riuscendo a, a, a creare un'edizione un digital per, per alcuni aspetti proprio perché Giulio e Nicola eh, eh, si sono presentati fisicamente in uno spazio e questa è una cosa molto bella quindi li saluto nuovamente hanno aperto le nostre due giornate di evento che poi in realtà sono anche tre con tutte le sale verticali che potete ovviamente seguire questa è la sala principale il titolo dell'evento è dal lockdown alla ripartenza so che siete in molti che state seguendo vi saluto tutti e sono contenta che, che stiate seguendo spero che troviate tutti i temi che stiamo affrontando e soprattutto le visioni dei nostri eh, ospiti relatori veramente eccezionali interessanti come le sto trovando io e allora io introduco il prossimo quindi andiamo avanti, siamo leggermente in ritardo, però può succedere anche perché i relatori sono davvero interessanti e quindi cerco di dargli anche un po' di spazio per concludere effettivamente le loro presentazioni. E, um, voi sapete che Pinterest, ovviamente chi non conosce Pinterest, questa piattaforma pazzesca, però vi do dei numeri, eh, è, una, una, è usata da circa 400 milioni di persone in tutto il mondo e in Italia fa una fonte da fonte Audi Web più di 19 milioni di visitatori unici mensili che appunto navigano su Pinterest che per loro è una, una piattaforma che rappresenta un'opportunità chiave per i brand, per i creator, lo sappiamo tutti insomma come, come viene utilizzata e a cosa serve raggiungere comunque il proprio target attraverso Pinterest è importante per chi appartiene a quel, diciamo, a quel, a quel mondo soprattutto di creator. E allora... Il prossimo relatore ci illustrerà proprio come un brand può dare valore al consumer journey e, e incoraggiare le decisioni di acquisto anche in un momento come questo. Quindi io ho il piacere di eh, ospitare e di ehm, introdurre il nostro relatore internazionale e sono ben contenta che ci sia un relatore anche dall'estero, Adrian Boyer, Country Manager Pinterest France, Southern Europe e Benelux. Prego la regia di mandare... Diciamo, Hi, Hadra, nice to meet you. Hi, nice how are you? Nice to meet you too. Very good, thank you. And you? Okay, perfect. I, I, I introduce you, I, I hope I pronounce your name uh, correctly. Adrian Boyer, it's correct? It's perfect. Perfect, okay. correct. <laughs> So, so I leave you the virtual stage to you uh, for your presentation. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, hi, everyone. Um, it's a pleasure to be with you um, for this event uh, to talk about uh, the momentum of Pinterest, um, especially in this time of, uh, of lockdown, um, and also talk about why this is uh, more than ever an opportunity for you Uh, to do inspired shopping experiences on Pinterest and drive brand and business outcomes. Um, as mentioned, I'm the country manager for France, Southern Europe, and Benelux uh, for Pinterest, and I have been with the company for four years. Um, I'd like to start with what Pinterest is um, and its role in the ecosystem. The mission of the company is to bring everyone the inspiration to create a life they love. And so every day we have millions of users that come to the platform to search for inspirations for daily projects, such as uh, preparing a dinner, uh, for seasonal moments like preparing a holiday or preparing uh, Christmas festivities, or for big life moments like getting married, uh, expecting a child, or uh, moving apartments, for instance. And our job as a company is that when you come to Pinterest for such a project, we give you the most personalized, the most uh, useful, Uh, and localize inspiration so that you leave your phone and do that inspiration in your real life. So I use Pinterest for a variety of uses. Uh, I love photography, so I use it for evergreen inspirations on photos. I also got uh, more interested in uh, how to live and eat better lately. So a lot of health tips uh, and well-being tips. I'm also preparing a trip to Japan, which uh, I had to postpone obviously for due to COVID, but still planning to do with my wife. 
And finally, like all of you, I was in quarantine for a while and we're starting again in France. And I realized I was a very bad cook and needed, um, you know, inspiration for easy recipes. And as I was going to Pinterest to find easy recipes, I came across Thermomix, which I bought. And actually that changed uh, my daily routine for eating uh, better. But now I'd like to show you a quick video um, about how people use Pinterest. Pinterest is where people discover ideas for their lives. Here's how it works. This is Enid. She lives in New York City. Enid loves travel, photography, cooking, and fashion. This is a pin. Pins are most commonly viewed in Enid's home feed or when she searches for ideas using keywords. The more pins she saves, the more personalized her experience becomes. Enid organizes saved pins into groups, called boards. Lately, she's been saving a lot of fashion ideas to revamp her wardrobe. But this pin isn't just some picture. It's an ad from Everlane. That links directly to their website where she can find the perfect look. Personalized inspiration, where you can take action on the ideas you discover. Okay, those are the very basics, but there's so much more. More formats, like video and carousel. More use cases, from tattoo inspiration to party ideas. And more ways to discover, like searching with visuals. Hundreds of millions of people use Pinterest to find inspiration to create a life they love. No matter what kind of business you're in, your audience is waiting to be inspired. That's the power of Pinterest. So it's interesting uh, to think about the role that uh, Pinterest has in the ecosystem. Um, we look at a matrix here that opposes social experiences to personal experiences and discovery experiences to search experiences. We're often associated with uh, social networks, but really Pinterest is, is not a social network. It's a visual discovery engine. Think about when you go to a social network, your primary motivation is to actually connect with your friends. Um, often it, you go there to share what you've done in the past, what you're doing right now. Um, there is a, a big community element and social validation um, and you really go there to be entertained or to, you know, look for some news. Now, when you go to Pinterest, it's a very different experience. First of all, you, go, you don't go to Pinterest to connect with your friends, but you go to Pinterest to look for inspirations for projects. It doesn't mean that there can't be social features in the product, but your prime motivation is very different. It's also a very different uh, time element than social networks. You don't go to Pinterest to share what you've done in the past or what you're doing, but you're really looking for inspiration for future projects um, that you intend to realize. And because you have this intent and uh, to take action, you know, there is a productivity element that is very strong on the platform. Then we also sometimes compare to traditional search engine, but they're very different than the visual search engine that Pinterest is. Um, indeed, you go to uh, you know, a traditional search engine when you pretty much have an idea of what you're looking for. You want to know what's the best price. You want to know where to buy a product, for instance. Usually, you look at text, objective information, and there's one answer. But when you visit Pinterest, you are in a visual discovery uh, mode. You have a, a query, a search that is pretty open. You're looking for inspiration for your living room and what to wear at springtime. And so there's a lot of, pos of possibilities. There's a lot of subjectivity in this search. And so for, for these reasons, we believe that Pinterest is a very unique product um, that offer a personal discovery and that has a very distinct uh, user mindset uh, on the platform. And so whatever your business is, your, in your audience is on Pinterest and is waiting to, to see your content uh, to take action on projects. Um, at a global level, though, we passed the 400 million mark, um, you know, very recently. And actually, we had our earnings call yesterday, and you could see that we have more than 440 million uh, monthly active users on the platform. That's a growth of 37% year over year. That is really organic because the prime uh, levers for growth on Pinterest is words of mouth. And so it's interesting because uh, we're seeing this very active base. Um, you know, in the world, but also in Italy. Italy is one of our fastest developing 
uh, market in Europe, we have, according to AudiWeb, more than 19 million monthly unique visitors with a faster growth than global. And this audience on Pinterest is extremely um, engaged. And so uh, users of Pinterest in Italy are saving uh, more than 3 million uh, ideas uh, every, every day. Um, and so this audience is also an audience of decision makers that can actually uh, take action and buy your products. And so I've mentioned that people come to Pinterest to prepare uh, projects. They have this intent and this intent is actually quite commercial. So we have 78% of pinners in Italy that are actually coming to Pinterest in advance of a purchase. That is very significant and they're expecting your brand to help them discover solutions for their projects. They're also people with a very high purchasing power. We have a lot of women, um, you know, two thirds of our audience, um, you know, historically it was more 35 plus, but it's diversifying and we're seeing a lot of millennials, men um, as well, and Gen Z coming to the platform. And in Italy, we're reaching 32% of households that have an income greater than 90,000 euros and 28% of millennials in Italy that have a, a household income greater than that. So it's, it's really an audience that has commercial intent and purchasing power. Now, what's interesting is they come undecided. You know, you may come to Pinterest to look for spring outfit ideas or ideas to have a Scandinavian living room, for instance. And so 97% of the billions of searches on the platform do not mention brand names. And so the opportunity for you as a brand, as a retailer, as a content creator is to get discovered as uh, individuals are looking for broad ideas uh, under those themes. And what's interesting is they're really looking for brands. Uh, Pinterest is not a brand, it's not a user generated content platform. 75% of the content on the platform comes from brands. And so brands are really a fuel to make ideas ha happen. And what's interesting is, as I mentioned, uh, as users are going through the discovery process, 77% of weekly users are discovered uh, a new brand or a product on Pinterest. So they expect you to be there. And so Pinterest really influences what pinners are buying more so than any social uh, or such platform because they're coming with this intent, this commercial intent, and they need your brands to be able to execute their, their plans and projects. Another aspect that's really interesting on the platform is whenever we do focus groups, uh, users are saying that they have a positive experience on Pinterest. Why? Because uh, they come to be their authentic self. Uh, they come to seek creativity and inspirations and to plan the live project. So it's a really safe heaven and a positive place. Um, and we're seeing that eight uh, users in 10 in the US are coming to Pinterest to look for positivity. And that was even more important when we saw the quarantine and, 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 and the confinement where beyond searches for daily uh, you know, challenges or inspiration, searches for positivity, meditation, well-being were exploding on the platform. And only three in 10 users are actually looking for positivity on social networks, which were delivering a very different experience uh, in, in this time of, of quarantine and lockdown. And we really think that this positivity aspect is important. It's important for users, but it's also important for your brand because it can deliver tangible impact. On Pinterest, people trust brands because brands are solutions to their needs. And they believe that uh, there is a, an intrinsic quality of the brand presence on Pinterest more so than on social media platforms. And we've actually digged down uh, deeper on this notion of positivity and, and why that matters to brands. And as we surveyed uh, users, we saw that six in 10 US pinners agree that when a brand appears in a positive environment or when users feel positive, they are more likely to remember, feel positive, trust, and purchase your brand. And so there is tangible impact on upper funnel metrics when your brand appears on positive environment. We also believe that ads are additive uh, to Pinterest. Um, I mentioned that uh, you know 75% of the content uh, on Pinterest comes from brands. And so Pinner is actually used to seeing uh, brand content. You know, 80% of monthly Italian Pinners feel positive towards brand content on Pinterest. And it's the same for the ads, which are, you know, often solutions as much as organic content on the platform. And so ads are content is, is a key message. And when we run sensitivity analysis, 
uh, to see what users on Pinterest are feeling about the ads. More than 50% of them are not identifying the ad because they find it as useful as organic content. Brands can shape decisions early on Pinterest, more so than on any other platform. Uh, that chart is interesting because it looks at, uh, it compares the searches for uh, Christmas events, Christmas festivities between a traditional search engine and Pinterest. You see that the searches regarding year and holidays and Christmas are really spiking at the very end uh, of the year for the traditional search engine. But you also see that on Pinterest, you start having searches for Christmas as early as June. And actually this year, due to COVID, due to confinement, people needed to project themselves and get inspired for longer term projects. And we saw that Christmas searches were starting as early as April this year. And so because we know what people are searching on Pinterest, um, we have tremendous predictive insights. We're actually, Pinterest is a laboratory of predictive insights. And so if you think about the moments that are key for your business, you have an opportunity leveraging our insights, which we share with you via our tools and reports uh, like the Pinterest 100 or Audience Insights tool. And you're able to identify when those key moments like New Year's Eve, Valentine's Day and others are starting on Pinterest. And so we can work with you to make sure that you are present at the very beginning of this discovery process to make sure that you inspire users and lead them to take action and drive uh, conversions for your business at the right time. And so really, when we think about driving brand growth, uh, you know, you have this opportunity on Pinterest to inspire consumers to build demand because we have a sizable audience that really wants uh, seeking out your products and to deliver value because we don't only not only inspire uh, users, but you have an opportunity in a couple of clicks to actually drive qualified traffic uh, and conversions in your stores on your e-commerce website. And so we've invested a lot to create really distinctive discovery experiences. Um, and more recently, we wanted to close the loop and, and facilitate for pinners the opportunity to shop any product that they would see on Pinterest. And we also develop a number of features to help you as a brand or a retailer to drive actually qualified traffic and conversions faster. And so some of the innovations we launch are catalogs. So you have an opportunity to upload as a brand or retailer all your product uh, catalog, and we will convert them and create uh, you know, dynamic product pins. You will have a dynamic pricing, we will have availability in stocks, and you will have a marker to authentify the creator or the merchant at the origin of this pin. We launch shopping ads, which allows you to reach the right person at the right time on the right project with a product pins that they may be interested in buying. We launch collection, which is a very compelling visual format that enables to showcase your collection of products and also dynamic retargeting, which allows you to retarget on Pinterest someone who would have visited your website, maybe add a product to cart, but would not have concluded that transaction. And we believe this suite of product is everything you need to take users from inspiration to action and drive qualified traffic and conversions for your business. And so I'll summarize by the opportunity that you have on Pinterest. You know, you can actually inspire people like Sam, who's coming to Pinterest, who's pretty undecided, and is looking for home office ideas, for instance. And as Sam goes through this project, he will you know, leverage our visual discovery uh, technology to identify scenes and product within scenes. He will save pins to a board. He will evaluate the different uh, offering and solutions that he see coming from brands. And at some point when Sam is ready, he will take action. He will click on that pin, be directed to your website and conclude the purchase or go to a store to do so. So again, I think the opportunity for you and is unique to Pinterest is to, at the same time, inspire users at the right time, when they're at the early stage of this discovery process, and lead them in a couple of clicks to buying a product for your business. And I thank you very much for your time, and grazie, and have a wonderful afternoon. Grazie. Uh, thanks, to, to, thanks to you, Adrian. Thanks to the very interesting thank site you, in this presentation. And have a good day and thanks for, for being with us during the Digital Innovation Days Italy 2020. Thank it you. Was, it was my pleasure. Thank you, Baba. You're welcome. E allora andiamo, chiudiamo questa, questa con la tendina grafica solita dalla regia e poi andiamo avanti con i prossimi speaker, che sono due.